That's all I wanted to know. Yep, okay, yep. Built in the USA. What are we looking at? You, you guys really put some engineering in. Hats off to the engineer on that one. I've never seen a brush cutter with a blade system like that. Okay, I've never actually seen this one before. Have you guys seen this Ferris before? I think this is this has got to be a commercial mower. It's worth back to the Hey, is this a commercial push mower right here? It's not a push mower. It's a 32 inch commercial hydro drive walk behind. Walk yes. behind. Hydro drive. Yep. Hi, is that new? Uh, it was new last year. It was. I'd never seen that one before. Yeah, so we came out with that, I want to say for 2020. Okay. And it was a, a major hit. There's nothing else on the market that's built that heavy duty. I, it looks and like that, a tank from here, yeah, man. Yeah, so it's built every bit of heavy duty as all of our other machines that we make. Mm -hmm. It's got a single lever height of cut adjust that I can show you. So like on all the other competition, you change the height at each wheel. This one, you just push up and down and change the height. Pull that out, lift it up, pull it out, push it down, and changes the height of cut for the whole machine. Dang, that's a that thing is built like a beast. The other thing is right here is your forward, forward or reverse on a hydro drive. On a hydro drive, 32 inch walk mower. You have forward and reverse hydro drive with a differential, so it's very easy to turn left and right. So the other thing you'll notice here is the pivoting front the swivel wheels yep that are also lockable for straight you can change this pin around push this tab in put this pin back and now that wheel's locked in straight so when you're cutting on the side of the hill it doesn't swivel down oh yeah you yeah, guys uh, really put some engineering in. Hats off to the lot. engineer on that one. Now, yeah, did he make it so you could service it, though? I mean, they put a lot of cool stuff in them, but then they hide all of the main components where you can't get it. Did they at least take in the maintenance account of it? Uh, maintenance is pretty easy. I mean, it's just servicing the engine, the blades, and, you know, years down the road, you might need to replace a couple belts. Yep, yep. It also is a dual blade unit that's time blade. So it gives a really quality Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Accessories are available. So there's an actual regular ba factory made bagging kit collection system for this. Really? And then there's a mulch kit as well. What does it go for? Uh, let me get prices for you. Hey, everybody wants to know how much they cost. Uh, including me. <laughs> yeah. it's a, it, we demo these and the guys like can't wait to buy them. $32.99. $32.99. All okay. right. That's probably going to be the most. If you have a great grandpa or a grandpa and you tell him you're going to pay $3,200 for a push mower, he probably just flipped over in his bed. But if you do this for a living, you're probably jumping for joy. So. Yeah, in his bed, in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, sir. Much appreciated, yeah, Seth. Thank you. Yep. Is this is, is this a new model? Uh, so we've carried it for a couple of years. Uh, the turf, it's a turf tech, basically. It, uh, if you can't hear him, it because of the mask, it's a turf tech. He said. So this is a turf tech. Uh, this is the fixed unit. So it's a bedded or it's a edging blade only. Uh, that we do sell a different model where you can actually get different attachments. It comes with the It's power, a tool carrier that. Yep, so it comes with the edging blade, comes with a power rake, a power broom, a mower you can get for it. You can get different blades to do different styles of edging and all sorts of different attachments. It's self-driven, so you can actually go forward and backwards. So it have, it has all the different heads for it, so you can actually do all, or you can change the heads out during like, uh, on like a work site basically. Okay, so he said it's got all the different heads on it, and you can change them out, but not on this unit. This is a dedicated unit. Yep, this is a dedicated unit for edging only. For edging only. Yep. Um, where are these manufactured? That maybe Indiana. Maybe, is, okay. But we get them, but Turf Tech is their own brand. 
actually. It's and built it. in the USA. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know. Yep. Okay. Yep. Built in the USA. What does the price uh, for a model like this go for? So this one's not, or this one with the fixed unit, it's going to be a little cheaper because it's dedicated to edging. I believe this, well, this one runs 5,382. The unit without the bro or without the or where you can swap the heads and everything, those ones run around six thousand dollars. Retail? Uh wholesale. Wholesale. Yep. Wholesale. Okay. All right. You answered all my questions. No Thanks, problem. Paul. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good to see you again, man. Yeah. So this is what? This is a new model for 2022. Okay. What did they change? It's completely redone. Completely redone? Completely redone. Yeah, new chassis completely. Okay. Can you walk us through it? No. So everything everything from the height of cut. So 48, 52, and 60. Yep. All Kawasaki options and then the Kohler options, EFI, 52 okay. and 60. Okay. Um, but completely new stance, more ergonomically friendly than it was in the past models. So an, it's a lot simpler unit. So now you're lifting the whole thing up, right? So you're lifting up the whole deck, engine, platform. Still has the same quality of cut, expert deck that yep. they've always had, but it's just a lot more ergonomically friendly. Okay. Ergon of, what ergonomically friendly is a pretty big well, word, but past, what does that actually mean? In the mean? past, with the, with the Starus model, it didn't fit a lot of the taller riders. They were okay. feeling it. It was uncomfortable for them to run. Oh, a little too low. Yeah. So okay, now, like, okay. the ops is in here. The, the uh, operator presence control is in your foot before it had it up here. So now you can just step off of it. And it's off. And it, it'll shut the speed off. Okay, okay. Yeah. You went back to one fuel tank. One fuel tank, he said. New tie downs. New tie downs. Okay, so we've got tie downs corners. on the corners. All four corners. I don't see the uh, right here. Yeah. Um, easy engine access. Okay. Hydros is a lot simpler control system straight to the pumps. So when you're moving it, it's a lot easier to adjust. Oh, look at right here. Yep. Right here. Okay. Um, went back to hydraulic lines, uh, rubber lines instead of the steel lines in the other unit. It's completely right It's a totally different machine. Now, is this a machine available this year? Yes. Or is this a pre-production nope. unit? This is a pre-production unit, but they're currently selling them and they're shipping very soon. And what does a unit like this go for, price-wise? <laughs> so you got fleet pricing like we always have. So Star X Series. CSP is, you know, on a, let's say a 52 Kawasaki, 11 gram, fleet pricing would be 93.49. Okay. So you get two units, it'd be 93.49. Got it. And is this replacing the Starus? It's replacing the 48, 52, and 60 Starus. That Starus is still available in the single point height of cut in the 32 and 36. Okay. And that will stay the same. The guys cool. love our Starus. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you, just from a straight, we've got all these mowers lined up and the guys can take any one of them and they uh, I actually had to take the Starus away from them because they were using it too much because it's my personal mower yep. I mean we use it for testing we use it for that but I don't want it there's a lot of guys that like it they still want them I mean there's some around but the it, it, it had some issues it had a, you know, a lot of reworks on it to get things right yep and the basically the 32 and 36 have been old really good. Uh, we've had issues with the drivetrain, uh, the feel of it, and it just wasn't accepted for taller guys. Yes. So, I've even, no, I'm not even a taller guy, but even I'm like, right. yeah. yeah, this one has been, so far, we've had production, or I've had demonstrator units out at larger landscapers, a lot of, all over the country, and it's been unbelievable. Hmm. It's been really good. And it's been very trouble free. So. Good to know. All right, thanks, Lonnie. Yep, Appreciate it, man. So, guys, I want you to meet uh, Ken. <laughs> Ken is like, my English no good. I was like, awesome. <laughs> Just be real. So, have some patience with Ken. But this is, um, what are these, Ken? 
Uh, we are a Japanese manufacturer in based in Michigan. All, the, all our machines are uh, manufactured in Japan and we just import to the US and distribute throughout the country. Okay, uh, and you have this one called the Snow Rhino. Sure. Okay, um, and what? Can you just kind of walk me through the Snow Rhino a little bit? Can sure. Yeah, this machine is de uh, developed especially for uh, snow removal markets for U.S. And we there like there are not many equipment for sidewalks. And this machine is perfect for sidewalk machine. Yep. And using this lever, you can change the angle. Though it comes with 34 inch base plow, which is two inch shorter than three foot sidewalk. Okay. It also comes with an extension, um, 6 inch, so total 46 inch wide, so it's perfect for 4 foot sidewalk. Perfect for a four foot sidewalk, mm -hmm. and you can just slide those right on. Uh, it's both in, both in, both in. Yes. okay. And okay. Uh, there, there will be the uh, brace on top and bottom, too. Are you running a Honda power plant on that? Please yeah, exactly. tell me you are. Honda commercial GX340. GX340, good engine. And this engine is uh, specially tuned for this machine in Japan. Oh, it's tuned for this machine in yeah. Japan? Yeah, so we directly work with the Honda Japan, and they modified the engine for this machine. Oh, okay. Hey, what's the price on this thing, Ken? Uh, this is about nine grand. Nine thousand dollars. But you guys don't just end up with snow. You do some. Looks like we got a mower over yeah, here. This is actually a brush cutter. This one's a brush cutter. So, yeah. So you can cut up to five, six feet tall, and you know, two inch diameter, toppling small trees, things like that. Two inch diameter trees. If you can push it over, you can cut it. Is what exactly, you're telling me. Exactly. Okay. So it has a 38 inch cutting width and it has a flail blade as well, like a, just like a brush off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's got a flail blade, he said. I think I understood that you said flail blade, yeah, right? Flail blade. Yep, flail, flail blade. This is a flail blade right here. So this, see how that, that's a flail blade. Oh. What part? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Kent. Yeah, this is four-wheel drive version, and we do have a two-wheel drive version as well. Oh, okay, so you have options with this. Yeah. Okay. What are we looking at? So, it's a belt system for braid. So, there is a big pulley that connected us to a braid. Okay, and there's your belt tightener right there, and you got a Vanguard, a Briggs and Stratton Vanguard engine, 21 horsepower. And it comes with a roll bar as well, just in case. Oh, okay, so you can use it in commercial applications. Here's the brackets right there. Exactly. To hook up the bar. So as soon as you put that bar, so that's the difference between a residential and a commercial mower. There's some fine differences, but basically the biggest difference, and I know this is gonna sound weird, so you guys are gonna have a hissy fit, and I get it. The biggest difference is the roll bar. Really, for a commercial application, you have to have that rollover protection optional. And then, you know, you beef up the, well, on a commercial mower, you beef it up a little bit, but without the rollover bar, it's automatically residential. And especially this machine is so low sense of gravity. And a good point is, this machine can go to the, like a slope that the tractor can't go. Because the tractor is so high sense of gravity. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, Anything can go on a slope, a tractor can't go on, those things roll over no matter what. But what is the what is this rated to? 25%? Uh, we recommend up to 20 for this. 20? I was gonna say I was I would guess 20, but you said slope, so I pushed it to 25. So this is a walk behind brush cutter? Yeah, brush cutter. And uh, traditional brush cutter has uh, just like a long more, you know, single fix braid and rotating that way. Yeah. So you need to knock down and braid the spin and that's the way you can cut the brushes. But basically it cut only the bottom. But this machine has a vertical system frail braid. So you might be able to see the braid here. I've never seen a brush cutter with a blade system like that. Mm -hmm. So this is basically frail braid and like a trap attachment. So it's kind it's kind of like uh a forestry mulcher head almost. Right, right. A rotating drum. Boom, 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 boom. So this actually mounted up material. So it can, you know, make the mulch like that length. Yeah. And this mulch. He means mulch. And commercial guys really love that because they don't need to bagging after they mulch. How much does a unit like this go for? This one is about uh, 6500 
5,500 bucks. Honda engine on this one? Uh, Honda GX, uh, well. GX 340? Okay, 270. 270. But we also added the screen here. So when you're mowing brushes, there are so many dust, you know. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And it's kind of sucked up here, but you can just wipe it off by hand. Is this sulky a walk as an optional? Yeah, optional. Sulky. Op optional sulky. So not mandatory by any means. And forward and reverse on this unit? Yeah. Three forward, one reverse. And that's a steering brake. So when you grab this lever, it stops this side track and machine just to turn on. Oh, it's like a skid steer. <laughs> Okay, and this side is for this, the, the... The bread is, yeah, just the one and two, and it's a basically dead man's way. It's killed a red wing. Okay. Well, thank you, Ken. Appreciate it. And thank Auric, so if these guys are more interested, they would just look up Auric, O-R-E-C. Uh, AuricAmerica.com. AuricAmerica.com. There you go, guys. Cool enough to stop and check out.